Today in our Crelate video, we'll be covering how to do a full run-through of Search. Search is located in the very top left-hand corner of Crelate. Simply selecting it uh, will first allow you to enter in any text, such as a first name if you want to pull in that context information, uh, as well as keyword searches. Or if you'd like to be brought to our advanced search, you can select Go to be brought to a blank page. Crelate search is full Boolean operated, meaning ands, ors, quotations can be used in a keyword search. So if I was going to run a quick search for a developer, we'll say and a project manager, Crelate will search through your database to give you a list of results. From there, it will notify you where the keyword term was found, such as Wilson on a resume, Ariel on a LinkedIn PDF. Double clicking will allow you to pull in that contact's profile to get a full look at their information. There are additional filters over to the right hand side. By default you will see tags, a location, ownership, and last updated. If you'd like to add any additional, up in the top right hand corner is an advanced button that will drop down and add a filter option. This will pull in from any of the contact details section whether those be custom that you have created or as well as the outlined Crelate detailed columns. You can scroll through here to add any additional fields you'd like included, such as salary, which will pop up here over to the right hand side. Your view can also be configured dependent upon personal preference. By default right now it is in a list view, but if I'd like I can configure that both as a grid and a map. Uh, the grid view will be a column layout giving you the capability to pick and choose which columns you'd like included. Additionally, once you do have your selected list of results, I can use control to select contacts at random in no particular order. Or if I select the first contact, uh, go to the bottom, in this case John, hold shift and select his name, it will select everyone in between. This will then give you the capability up above if you'd like to tag them in bulk, send them a bulk email, add them to a, a job opportunity, or to a, an internal list. Just to the left of that option, you will have a drop-down capability to save the search. That will allow you to title it, share it with other users if you'd like, and come back to it with one click at any time. This saved search will update dynamically as a query. That wraps up this video for search. Please let us know if you do have any additional questions.